All right, just taking a quick look at this new Allway 2400 watts on this one. <laughs> this one's got big time specs. In fact, this is by far their largest model. You know, I mean, most of their models are these small 500 watt hours, 300 watt hours, you know, 1000 watt hours, something like that. So this is, this is new, this is definitely new territory for them. And, you know, it's not just, it's not just the inverter, it's the capacity here. 2048 watt hours so yeah about two kilowatt hours and then as you notice down here this is actually expandable as well so actually you can hook up five of these extra batteries and you know they're the same size battery as well so you can actually get up to 10 kilowatt hours in total now you know they do have this this photo kind of i think they use this photo because there's so much other stuff going on here but <laughs> there is there is the big bulky side cable on this thing so yeah, you might not have even noticed that. But what is cool about this design is, you know, the way this case is shaped like this, isn't it? It kind of comes down and then it tucks in towards the bottom. The reason is, yeah, the extra batteries are actually shaped, you know, kind of like this. So they kind of fit, you know what I mean? And they're just gonna stack a little bit better. Now, one thing to note about these LFP batteries that they're using, you know, they are saying 3,500 cycles, but this little note at the bottom, you know, yeah, it says that's down to 70% capacity, you know, which typically we like to see these rated at 80% capacity. And they're saying, yeah, right there, they're saying not even a full depth of discharge. So, you know, obviously this is still, you know, for people who care about this, it's still way better than the older NMC batteries, but, these definitely aren't, you know, this is a budget brand. These definitely aren't, you know, top shelf LFP cells. And then for the inverter here, you know, again, we're talking about, this is a first for Allway. Yeah, there's a 30 amp outlet, you know, so you can connect it to your RV or even a transfer switch at your house. So, you know, what do we get for power? Yeah, it's 2,400 continuous watts. And they do say, you know, it's got a proper 4,800 watt surge. And we do get the proper voltage as well, you know, the full 120 volts. So, you know, as I talked about, this is very important when you do have that 30 amp outlet because, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, because of this image here, you know, you're going to have the wire running all the way to your RV or to your house if you're using a transfer switch. And then, you know, you're not even plugging stuff right into there, are you? You got it, you know, you got wires going up here, you know, then you got a wire coming over here. You know, this is connected here, obviously. So, you know, by the time you get to the output ports here, you're gonna lose, you're gonna have a drop in voltage, right? So you definitely don't wanna use a power station that's outputting 110 volts, you know, with, with, a, with a setup like this. Now for the charging here, a maximum input of 1500 watts, and that's gonna be like, you know, between an hour and a half and two hours. So, and then, you know, the awesome thing about this product and all of Always more recent products, they've been putting this kind of like new feature on all of their power stations. Yeah, there's this, there's three different modes here, quick, normal, and slow. And the best part about this, you know, best part about this whole thing is there's a button. There's a button right on the power station that you can cycle through right there. You can cycle through those three modes. You know, you don't have to use an app. You don't have to get out your app, you know, connect it, go into some settings. Like you can literally change it on the fly. If you don't want the fans running, you can just press that button, you know, and boom. Basically, it slows down instantly and it gets quiet instantly. And what's really cool about this, as I was saying, even their smaller budget uh, units have the same button, same, these same three modes, you know, right there. So it's an awesome feature. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is, you know, the reason they developed that system is because they didn't have they didn't have an app so kind of concerns me because now they're saying they do have an app they actually it's called a land book app i guess i don't know why it's called land book but so yeah they do have an app with this model it looks like it's only bluetooth so that does concern me a little bit you know that maybe in the future they might get rid of they might get rid of that physical switch you know this physical button but for, hey, for right now, <laughs> enjoy it. Enjoy it while, you know, while you have it. Now for the solar, they're saying on here, they recommend using two 200 watt panels. 
but it does say that you can put a maximum of 500 watts of solar into this thing. Now there's no spec. There's no spec on the voltage or the amps, but I'm sure, you know, I'm sure it's at least 60 volt input because there's smaller 1200 watt model can do. Yeah, you can see it right there, 60 volts. And yep, there's that, you know, there's that button. And yes, you know, there is EPS mode. And in fact, it's a good one, 10 within 10 milliseconds. So this is something definitely that even the smaller models have as well. Something that, you know, always is invested in, you know, this quick, they know people want to use this for UPS. So it's a quick switch over, you know, if you're going to have your computer plugged in, there's no point in plugging your computer in. If you're going to have a 20 or 30 millisecond switch over, you know, where maybe, you know, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. There's no point in that. Right? Now let's talk about the design of this thing because it does look, you know, a little bit different. It actually, it looks a lot different than the other models. Of course, you know, we talked about one of the main reasons is, you know, so it can stack on the battery a little bit better, but it's just got a different layout here, you know, where they put this large LED light, you know, right on the front. In fact, this whole layout kind of reminds me, I don't know if any of you guys remember. So, you know, Jackery, before they switched to using LFP batteries, they thought, well, you know, let's, <laughs> let's start like a sub brand called Geniverse. And let's kind of market that as like the home backup. And then we can keep using NMC batteries, you know, in the Jackery brand, because it's all about portability and power outdoors. <laughs> you know, that ba obviously that backfired on them big time. <laughs> they lost a ton of market share. You know, they're gaining it back now, yes, because they, they have switched to LFP batteries. And, and all their, their latest models, you know, their latest models are actually very good. But anyways, what we were talking about, Geniverse. Yeah, it, it kind of had the same look. So... That's just kind of a funny little thing. And then, you know, there's this LED light on the bottom here that they don't even talk about, like an ambient light. And which is cool, you know, I like little ambient lights on these things, but I don't understand why they've gone with blue. And the same thing here, you know, on the USB-A ports. You know, why go with blue, you know, when you got, you know, that orange line going through your logo? You know, I think they really should have tied that in and had orange accents. You know, so orange lighting on here. And as well, I talked about this in one of the, the other Allway videos. You know, the ring here, the ring on the display should have been orange too. Because otherwise, it kind of just looks like, you know, it kind of just looks like this product could be like a generic product, any brand, you know, and then they just happen to throw the Allway logo on it.